Louis, thank you so much for your time. Now, indeed, many African countries have pegged their hopes on the African free trade area, which, as we know, is aimed at boosting trade within the continent. But surely this Russia-Ukraine conflict and the uh, related supply disruptions have exposed just how reliant Africa is on imports. How do we counter this? Thank you for having me. Uh, but first of all, I need to correct that I'm based in Accra. Uh, I think that the African continental free trade area is to boost uh, intra-African trade and border collaborations and to have a lot of the border restrictions eased. And therefore, if we want to boost intra-African trade, I think that, yes, the world is global now. And what that means that we are not an island, even though we are within a free trade area. And especially when you have uh, agribusiness being one of the foremost um, development agenda that the free trade seeks to really employ to make sure that over 50% of GDP contribution, which is coming from the agribusiness, is really um, developed well. To that effect, you realize that there are a lot of inputs that agribusiness uh, players within the economies of Africa are not self-reliant. Uh, and this takes us far to um, Ukraine and Russia, especially the issues of chemicals for agrochemicals, for fertilizers, and what have you. It is very expensive to produce. I don't know how many companies in Africa are able to produce fertilizers. Once it becomes very expensive, the, the cycle, the, the, the impact is so huge to the output of uh, production, especially when it comes to crop production within the agri-industry. So yes, this all has adverse effects within the free trade area and as a, by extension among African economies. And so, Louis, the free trade area on its own, certainly on paper, looks very good, very inspiring for African economies. But there are other challenges, structural weaknesses and vulnerabilities like poverty and inequality on the continent. So how do we strengthen the continent as a whole then to withstand shocks like a, a war in Russia and Ukraine? Yes, that is where we have to find infrastructure. It should be higher on the agenda of our national budgets. We need to fund infrastructure to make sure that we boost our manufacturing and industrialization links. Secondly, we need to continue to develop agribusiness so seriously. A lot of agricultural sectors have been left unattended to, have not been really developed. And that is another area we have to look at. If we want to recall, once food prices soar, you have little to save for investment. So there is a need for the agri-sector among African economies to receive the highest attention. The African Development and we see that by the year 2025, you're going to have about 50% of millionaires coming from the agri agri agriculture sector. And therefore, if Africa wants to be able to be self-reliant, that is the first approach. The second approach has to do with patronizing our own made in Africa products and services to reduce the pressure on our hard cash a hard can error currencies like the dollar. And I'm happy that the African continental free trade has come out of the Pan-African payment and settlement system. It is estimated over $5 billion could be lost if not because of the payment settlement. So that commodity trading will be eased to be done within our own local currencies. That will reduce the pressure on our local currencies and be able to save enough to develop other yearning or yearning sectors. That is, this is the second approach that we have to really uh, 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 take care of. My final approach is that we also have to look at how best we will do what we call the uh, 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 educational mopping. What kind of uh, educational offers are we giving our own people? Some of the uh, courses or some of the uh, career directions are uploaded. They are not part of the current uh, uh, trend. We need to come out with pragmatic and 
up to current educational uh, uh, systems and courses so that our people can also move away from the traditional uh, 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 and practicable uh, courses that they study. We need to look at agenda ICT. We need to look at technology. This is very, very key. And I think that when we really look, restructure our educational uh, approaches, Africa will be self-reliant and will reduce a lot of uh, uh, imports from uh, other jurisdictions. Thank you so much for that analysis. That's uh, Louis Yao Afol joining us there from Accra.